my little pretties, it's your mistress, the Queen of Lions here. And today, well, I'm back with another discussion video on a video. Now, if you read my opinion, if you watch my opinions on Sweet Apple Massacre, I decided to, you know, do a video on what my opinion on Dipper Goes to Taco Bell. Now, this is kind of one of the reasons why I'm not really crazy on the Pinecest fan base. Which, that's definitely another story for another day. Oh my goodness. But today, I am going to be talking about my opinion on Dipper Goes to Taco Bell. I'm not going to narrate the story because it's really disgusting. I already read it, like, tons of times, and I'm already disgusted by it. And I am going to explain my opinion on it. Now, note that this is not meant to offend anybody. I'm just going to say this is not, this is not meant to offend anybody. If you like this story, I respect your opinion. If you don't like this story, then I don't blame you for not liking it. Because there is a reason why I don't like this story. So first of all, I'd like to say, for those who don't know what Gravity Falls is about, um, I am going to explain what Gravity Falls is about. For those who are new to my channel, who probably are like wondering, what is uh, Gravity Falls? To be completely honest, they're all wondering... Well, to Gravity Falls is basically about a two twins named Dipper and Mabel Pines. They travel through a mysterious town of Gravity Falls in Oregon for their summer vacations. But of course, they discover some strange, you know, occurrences and stuff like that. So, to my to my surprise, I actually say that this is actually one of the decent um shows on Gravity Falls. Surprisingly, it came out in 2012. <laughs> Surprisingly, that, st that show started around there. I was surprised. I thought, um, I just thought, you know, it was out, you know, in 2015 or something. Well, I'm going to be completely honest that, you know, the show itself is actually really interesting. Like, I made some fan fictions of it, like, um, Wendy Corduroy Pudding, Dipper's Laptop. I'm working on another Gravity Falls fan fiction, which should be out, or Funny Pasta in this case, should be out very soon. I'm still working on it, but it will be out eventually. So, I could definitely say this show was actually pretty interesting in my opinion. I know some people might not like it, but for those who don't like the show, I respect your opinion. And for those who like it, I respect your opinion too. So, to be completely honest, it's what Gravity Falls is basically about. Now, the Pine Cess fan fanbase is, you know, basically people shipping Mabel and Dipper. Now, I am going to understand, I understand, you know, it's a toxic community, which is why I'm not part of it. But, you know, like I said in my, my toxic fan bases need to stop discussion video, I explained that almost every fan base has a toxic side. Just, I'm just saying that right now, just so you guys will understand. But now that I have told you guys about what Gravity Falls is about... I am going to, you know, basically ex go out of my way and explain this. I've been monologuing for three minutes. You guys are, who are new to my channel, who are wondering, what is Dipper Ghost to talk about? Well, to be completely honest and put it as most friendly as possible without grossing anyone out, Dipper Ghost to talk about is basically, was written in 2012 by a person who, um, I guess was a fan of Gravity Falls or, yeah, a fan of Gravity Falls decided to do is it, uh, this kind of story. It is a shock story, just like I said with Sweet Apple Massacre. It is a shock story, so it's just words on digital page. Page like it's not, you know, it's not involving real people going through all that, that you know, getting killed and etc. Which is kind of what you know is going on in the well Dipper goes to talk about. But I am going to explain why I'm. What my opinion is on Dipper goes to talk about. Now, first of all, I'd like to say it's about Dipper, you know, Pines, who is reading a book. And then, of course, Mabel, you know, tells him to go have an adventure or something. But, of course, M Dipper was just stumped and he couldn't figure out what the decode thing it is. I'm not sure what it was. But, of course, Mabel like, tells Dipper that Grunkle Stan is going to take them to the diner for lunch. But, of course... Dipper does not want to go to the diner. He wanted to go somewhere else. But, of course, Mabel explains there's nothing really else unless you count the Taco Bell that is in the forest. So, Dipper decides to go to Taco Bell, but Grunkle Stan didn't give a damn of what, you know, what he said or do anything. So, when Dipper goes to the Taco Bell in the forest, he wonders about why there is a Taco Bell in the forest. 
So when he goes in, he orders a taco from the cashier. And of course, when he bites it for the first time, he then suddenly starts to, you know, no, have, you know, bat a stomach ache. You know, when you go to Taco Bell, I know some people don't like Taco Bell. And this is probably one of the reasons why they don't go there anymore. Uh, some people, you know, when you eat at Taco Bell, you start getting the runs. Yeah, Dipper had that, but after he realized that what happened when he got in the bathroom, he started to do some disgusting stuff. I'm not going to say what it is that he's done in that because I don't want to gross anybody out for one. I don't want to gross anyone out. And two, I don't want any of you guys to even think about reading this story. Well, I know Diamond says he's going to go ahead and read it, so it's fine. If you guys want to go check it out, um, just don't if you want to, if you don't want to get disgusted. But, you know, it involves Dipper doing some disgusting things in there to himself. It's not to anyone else for that matter. But then all of a sudden, he then ends up, um, he ends up dying from some something happened to him like he ends up um he ends up dying in the stall i'm not gonna say how he died because i don't wanna i just don't want to gross anybody out like i said i'm trying not to gross anybody out with this so with that being said and of course maple was worried about dipper so she goes into the stall and does um and does some disgusting stuff with with um dipper I'm not going to say what they are yet again because I don't want to gross anybody out. But for those who have read the story will probably know what I'm talking about. And I have uh, listened to Shadow's narration of this story. And I have listened to other people narrated this story. And I wasn't bothered by it. Well, Shadow's was a little bit disturbing because Shadow sounded like he was going to puke or something. He kind of did sound like that because I could tell that he kind of does sound like he was going to throw up. But... At the same time, I'm, I, you know, when I narrated it, I was like, oh my goodness, it's so, bleh. But then all of a sudden, you know, more, more stuff is going on. You know, this is probably one of the reasons why the, um, Pinecest fan base is just, um, well, I could definitely say that it's, um, really toxic. I'm just going to be completely honest, but you know. To be completely honest and fair about this, I'm just going to say it's just a shock story. It's not meant to, you know, be, um, it's not meant to be, you know, um, it's not meant to, to offend anybody. Like, this story, it's to gross people out, yes, offend people, no. Nobody should get offended by this because, you know, to be completely honest, I'm just going to be and be completely honest that, you know, to be fair, this story was absolutely quite scary. Like, not scary, but kind of a shock story. So, it is a shock story just to, um, say. It's just a shock story. So, of course, we're, um, we're just, you know, it's a shock story. So, it's just meant to shock some people. Now, later on, we see in the... In this story, you know, Mabel and Dipper ends up getting turned into tacos. I'm just going to say that. I'm not going to say how they were turned into tacos, but mainly I don't want to gross anybody out. And that's just my, just me saying I don't want to gross anyone out. So, and that's just one thing I'm going to be completely honest on why I'm not really crazy on this story. Now, here's the thing. If you guys are like wanting to go attack the offer or anything like that, just don't. Do not attack the offer for it because it's a shock story. It was meant to shock people. Just like with Sweet Apple Massacre, it was a shock story too. But I think this story is just as bad as Sweet Apple Massacre, at least to me. Because some people think Sweet Apple Massacre is bad. Well, I think this is just as bad as Sweet Apple Massacre. I know some people think Sweet Apple Massacre is worse. Well, in with all due sincerity, um, this story is just as equal bad. Like, I'm not saying, you know, it's, you know, to be completely honest, if you guys, um, like this story, this is just your, this is just my opinion. I'm not meant to offend anybody or any form in any way. This is just made for me just to, you know, give out my opinions. Because some people have asked me if I liked it. And, of course, I said no, and they asked me why. So then I decided to go ahead and make a video explaining why. Now, with all this, this is the sincerity of this story... Um, uh, this story has been deleted by, from many sites. 
I'm not gonna kidding. I think it was on, you know, uh, DeviantArt and Fanfiction.net, and I believe it was on Wattpad at one point, but then they were all deleted. So, this story was, um, was deleted from pretty much everywhere. <laughs> pretty much everywhere, to be completely honest. Pretty much almost every site, but I did manage to find, um, a copy of the story on another site. I am not linking the story down because I don't want any of you guys to get, you know, disgusted or anything. So I'm not going to bother linking the story down because I know you guys might feel, you know, disgusted and kind of um, wanting to, you know, puke your guts out. But one thing I could definitely say is for sure is that this story was absolutely disgusting. I could definitely say that. But the only thing I could definitely say that was decent was the grammar was alright. It just needs a little bit of improvement. Same thing with the sentence structuring and the paragraph structuring is decent. So that's something I could definitely say. They just need a little improvement on that. But another thing that's the only other reason that, you know, needs to be fixed up is the spelling errors. Like there were a couple spelling errors throughout the story. Just to point it out for those who, um, wanting to know about it. So... I am not linking this story because I don't want anyone to get traumatized. If you guys want to see, want to read this story, that's that's totally up to you. But I would not. But you know, do not go attack the person by saying it's so evil, it's so gross. Well, it's evil and gross, but it's a shock story, people. What do we expect? I believe there was this one story that's kind of similar to this story. It's not finished. I don't know why it's not finished, but it isn't, and that is. Wendy goes to Wendy's. I'm not even sure if um if the person's gonna, you know, finish that. I don't know who the original author is for that story. But to be completely honest, this story was just um just equally disgusting as a uh, Sweet Apple Massacre. But you know, it's a shock story. This one's a shock story, that one's a shock story as well. So what do we expect when it comes to shock stories? It's just really, really, really disturbing in my opinion. But to be completely honest, I'm definitely going to say right now is that for what it was, Dipper Goes to Taco Bell is a shock story and it was meant to shock people. And, you know, it's just fiction. Like I said with uh, Sweet Apple Massacre, it's just fictional characters. It's not, um, you know... It's not, you know, real people. They're not using real people or anything, which I'm glad they're not. But it's just di it's just digital paper with people, you know, we, not with real people, but with cartoons. It's a cartoon, so it's not real. So I'm definitely going to be completely honest when it comes to that. Just to, you know, give it a little more explanation. Okay. I think I'm going to say right now, my opinion on this story, I'm... I really don't like this story. I'm just being completely honest. I was grossed out when I saw this. I came across this story, I believe, in 2015 or 16, and I was disgusted. I nearly vomited. I couldn't, I almost couldn't finish it. I was really grossed out by that time. But yeah, like I said, when I listened to people narrate this story, I wasn't bothered by it. But when I read it, it's just disturbing to me. But I have seen some other disturbing stuff as well. So you guys probably will see, well, what's disturbing? Well, there are some other disturbing stuff. I'm just going to say that right now. But other than that, that's just my opinion. Now, if you like this story, I respect your opinion. If you don't like this story, then I don't blame you because, you know, most of you, most likely you guys probably don't. But, you know, if you like it, that's fine. Okay. I guess I'm going to wrap up the review right here because the, well, not review, but the video, it's long enough as it is. But anyways, you all, so anyways, I'm going to wrap up the review. I am the Queen of Lions. If you guys are new, brand new to my channel, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and uh, ring the bell for notification to when I upload. So then you guys will get, you know, any, you know, notifications to my uploads. And with that being said, I'm going to be seeing you all in the next video. Thank you so much for coming along. And I will be hoping to see you all very soon. Peace out. And I'll catch you all next time.